Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. So, Tampa Bay, Thursday night football. Man, this thing is coming up fast. But, Ravens versus Tampa Bay. Ravens versus Tom freaking Brady. Tom is playing not like a man that's happy at home. Or has a happy home, I should say. You know what I'm saying? Happy wife, happy life. And Tom's life right now for his NFL is not happy. Yeah, he's uh, yelling at his offensive line. Wide receivers dropping passes. Mike Evans. Can't even score a touchdown last week. He's going through it. He's going through it. But you know, one thing he did constantly is give Lamar Jackson praise. He continually give that young man praise. He knows the great star is up on Lamar Jackson. Many people actually know that in the NFL. But this game um, should be interesting. Um, we have a couple of people that was on the injury report. You know, didn't practice such as that. But, you know, they still might end up practicing. I saw a report of my boy MP Juice Man and Marlon Humphrey um, practice. So that's great news. Uh, they practice Tuesday, so that's great news. I believe today probably, you know, um, a walkthrough, something like that. Um, but it's going to be interesting because I, how the Ravens offense is right now, it's kind of stale. I know we got the W against the Browns, but it was very, very stale. Like in my pre previous video, just like that win, that victory Monday, it was just like weird. You just like, yeah, we won, but it didn't it didn't feel like a Ravens win. Because we should have won better than that. The offense, and I can't put it on Lamar because Lamar is the total offense. It seems like the scheme, I think everybody on offense is just kind of like done with like Greg Roman. I don't know. I know a lot of fans, a lot of Ravens flock feeling the same way. I feel the same way. It's like his style of play is not winning football. And I, and what just came to my mind, I believe because we won, we know this team, this team don't look like a Super Bowl playoff winning team. It looks like we just going through the motion. We just riding a ride. And we just like... We just hurl. Let's just go through it and get this season over with. And that, to me, comes down on the coaching. And I feel like they're going to have that same type of mood going against Tampa Bay. It's like we just going to go out of here, just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. And I know Tampa Bay is going to be playing mad. They played they play terrible, terrible Sunday. They didn't even get a touchdown. Mike Evans giving autographs to the referees. Quote, unquote, giving his phone number for the golf lessons with a professional. But, you know what? That could be true because they still caught the L. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But... It's kind of going to be interesting. Um, we're going to see if Drake, he had a terrible game. I think he had, what, like 11 carries, 5 yards, 7 yards, something like that. We're going to see what Greg Roman do. Um, I know people was praising, like, oh, he opened the vault, he opened the vault. Like, one new play. One new play. After that whole game, they, uh, some people were saying he opened a vault. One new play. I know 
I said, oh, that's a new play. Then that was it. Didn't, didn't say that multiple times. I can't even remember a football game since Greg Roman being our offense coordinator where I have said, oh, that is a new play more than once in a one game. It's like he says, I got this big old book. Why are you not opening it? And I think the team, think the wide receivers, they just like stuck. I even seen the article come out talking about that. And this offense, they got to have to step it up because if they lose against Tampa Bay, oh, it's going to be trouble in the waters because next week is New Orleans. And if you lose against Tampa Bay, they just got stuffed out by Carolina. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because right now, the Ravens are super mid. They are super mid. Bateman played. I know he's playing. He's not 100% though. You can I can tell when, like I said, I can tell he wasn't 100%. But Lamar has to do more than, uh, what, 16 passes this game? Thursday night football, prime time. Everybody's going to be watching this game. You got two Hall of Famers. And, yes, Lamar is already in the Hall of Fame to me. The man got so many records. Mainly the Ravens, but they ain't take a lot. It didn't take a lot to get him beat the Raven records. Oh God! But still, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. And so right now, they Ravens have the win loss win loss record. A Tampa Bay. Let me let me look at her. Fix this. Let me look at their record. Um, let's see. They got win win loss loss win loss loss. You know what? Ravens are next, so they got win win. Then they go loss loss. Then they got one win. And then they go loss loss. It's like a pattern. Just like the Ravens. So that Tampa Bay next one should be a win according to their, their pattern. Ravens have win, loss, win, loss, win. It's the pattern. So, with that being said, I keep it real. I have the Ravens losing this one. They're going to keep their win-loss, win-loss, win-loss record. And they're going to end up losing this game. And I already see it. I already say it. It's coaching. They lose this game. Coaching. The coaching, some, somebody's going to do terrible. So, I got the Ravens losing this. Um, I can't really get no prediction for a score because I, they, I think they just going to catch the hot L, the L um, on Thursday Night Football. So, yeah, y'all yeah, tell me what y'all think. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Keep it 100. Everybody, stay safe. God bless.